What is up, my squirtle lights? It is I, your king. Welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we made our way through many of the shines in Rico Harbor, and in this episode, we are definitely going to be finishing up this Rico Harbor, this this lovely little harbor, and we are going to be hopefully moving on into the third area. And to do that, I need to kill Shadow Mario. Can I actually just keep hitting you from here? That'd be great. Okay, I think I got I got him a couple times. All right, let's keep moving. And we're going to want to chase him up here. Oh my gosh, wall, please don't take away my side flips, please. <sighs> I'm so bad. I am so bad at this. Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. Okay, sir. Wait, you can't go that way. No, 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 no. Okay, he went that way and he totally threw me off as a result. Hold on a second. We are fixing this immediately. Stop it right now. Get me up here. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Did that really just happen, sir? You, over there. Take some of that. There we go. Right, you come back. Are you going to come back? Oh, no. He's going... He freaking faked me out again. Boy. Boy. Are we... We're not going to have this. This is like the second freaking one. Get out of here. Oh, my goodness. You suck. And how are you not... Seriously, how are you not stunned yet? Seriously? Why is this so... Why am I having such a difficult time with this? This is kind of ridiculous. I'm usually able to get this guy before he even gets on the cow. Oh, I see the problem. He needed to go to a checkpoint to fall over. Rude. Well, give me my shine. I will absolutely take that. So. Perfect. I wanted to actually backflip into that, but apparently I wasn't able to do that. Whatever. All right, so we have three more shines left to get. So let's do that. Continue. However, I do believe the eighth one is not yet available to us. I, I believe. Hold on. I'm going to actually check first. And indeed, I was correct. Okay, so we are not going to be doing Yoshi's Fruit Adventure quite yet. We are instead going to be going after all of the bonus shines here in Rico Harbor. The first of which involves, well, the secret of Rico Tower, which, what you know what that means? That means it's a red coin mission, so this will be fun, and that was a terrible way to start that. What? Oh, screw it. Let's just do this the old-fashioned way, I guess. Triple jump your way up there. Thank you, Mario. So, we just need to get to the tower in a hurry, which is really not an issue, if I'm being honest. I don't want that blue coin. I'm not interested in getting anything of the sort. And here we go. All right, let's do this thing. Oh, joy, oh, joy, oh, joy. So, honestly, the jetpack, or the flood does not honestly really help you that much in this one. It still is, I mean, for the most part, you just need to still be kind of decent at platforming. I mean, yeah, okay, yeah, it helps you get the red coins, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like for the blocks, it's like flood does not make that much of a difference. Just, you can't suck at, at you know, judging the surfaces of these things regardless, or if you slip off, you're still dead. Okay, so these are the fun ones that you have to get. These two. Perfect. Grab those. And then this is the other fun one right here. Perfect. Although, the thing I do like is that I can at least get past those gears and not have to worry about them too much. So, let's land on this one. We got three more to go. Shouldn't be an issue time-wise. That's six. We also have another one up that we can grab that I might as well get because I've got flood with me. Perfect. Oh my gosh, grab that coin, thank you. We got 34 seconds, we are fine. No problemo. Hold on. Give me that, please. Thank you. All right, so that wasn't so bad. And now, and then after this, we have to get the one with involving the gloop, uh, bleh, the gooper blooper race. And I believe we actually do have to use the pink gooper blooper, uh, contrary to what I said in the previous episode. So we are going to be doing that, and that is going to be fun! Can't wait for it. So because I am a merciful soul, I decided just to skip right to here, so we're going to definitely get on the, the purple one. Remember, don't miss the bloopers. If you walk past them, it will start the race and you're automatically screwed. Okay, so for this one, we need to get it... I, I always forget the exact time limit that you need to get it under, but it is a very even rounded number, so... I would use the pink one, even though this one is definitely the hardest to use out of all of them. And try not to go on land like that, that's always a bad idea, but if you can manage its turning, I mean, it still is objectively the best of the bloopers, so... But if you're also having a hard time at completing these at all, maybe then you might want to avoid it. You can jump past all that, you should be good. I think it's 40 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. That's what I believe it is. I really hope I'm right. 
Yep, yes indeed it is. Give me my shine. Thank you. So now, after this is all said and done, we can head on into the next level. And isn't that exciting? I'm excited for level three. And we have, what, 20 shines now? Wait a minute. 20 shines. Does that mean what I think it means? It does not, because I believe I you also have to unlock the fourth level before the thing I think it means happens. And I also think you need to have 30 shines for that? I, I don't actually remember the exact count. I'm really bad at remembering those numbers. But anyways, regardless, if I could actually get my water slide going, let's hurry to the opposite end of Delfino Plaza. Woo! Excuse me, sir. Ow! Your umbrella hurt me. <laughs> He's just like, what happened? All right, keep going. And then we got another one of these things to fight. This one is going to also take six hits. Because, of course, it is. So, if you don't mind... Let's wake this thing up. Perfect. What's up, dude? And now we go... In, now it's like a tower defense game. We just have to keep ourselves alive from all these, like, these blooper things while also trying to fight this boss. It's awesome. And we're just going to stay in the same spot while we do it. So, that's three... Toad, get out of there. You actually can't rest. Like, you, I don't think there's even a way of keeping this guy afloat. Because the muck always comes back and gets him again. See? He's already gone. Already gone. Alright, there we go. Doing good. Get a first-person shooter. Perfect. Alright, Toad, get on out of there. Come on, buddy. I got you. And there we go. And this is also actually going to allow us to get another shine here very, very soon. You okay, buddy? Here, let me help you out. Now, before we actually head on into this level, I have a little secret. Wait, what's that? What's this right here? Wait, hold on. Hold on. I see a shine appearing. That's right. So this is one of the many shines that you can get here in Delfino Plaza. We are still going to be getting those in this playthrough. I just wanted to make that clear. So we're going to go after this one right now just because it is very easy to get. And all you have to do is hop your way up to it. And then we are going to head into the next level. We are going to get probably two shines done uh, in this video, I think. That's, that's my hope. All right, 21 down. Uh, a lot to go. I actually don't know the exact count. So as you can see, there's already the trigger for the next level unlocked, which we are going to worry about that later. But Pe Princess Peach has gone missing. Oh no, we totally care, but we actually don't because, well, we don't really care about the story. And also, we already know that we're going to rescue her by the end. Anyway, because that's what you do. Toad, we just helped you before. Can you, like, like stop crapping your pants for, like, two seconds, please? Jeez. All right, so here we go. Gelato Beach. No, it's actually Gelato Beach. Dude Bud's Sand Castle Secret. Let's do this thing. So, and I am, how am I, uh, I think these things are called cataquacks. Get it? Catapult, and they also quack. Um, so there's always going to be one, uh, one cataquack that's an odd one out, by the way, and I believe that the odd one out always produces a blue coin. Yes, I was right about that, but we're not worried about that right now. We are instead worried about doing this, which is going to cause the sandcastle to appear. I also just got launched into the air by a random dude, which is cool. Sirs, hold on. I'm gonna juke you. Goodbye, and in we go. Alright, it's time for another one of these. Now, this one isn't usually so bad. Obviously, I don't want to jinx myself here, but I don't remember this one being too bad. I think this is one of the easier secrets. All you have to do is just do single jumps. Don't try to do anything fancy, at least not yet. Um, the time for fanciness in this one definitely comes in the red coin version, but that's usually how it always is in these, is you gotta get a little fancy in those. So just stay on the trajectory you're on. Uh, this is a part that gets a little bit more tricky, is right here. So what you're gonna wanna do here, you wanna make sure you climb up fast. As soon as you hit a ledge, go. And the shine is immediately to, uh, to the left and behind. So hurry your way up, grab that ledge, and there you go, piece of cake. All right, so I think we have time for one more shine in this video, which is going to leave us with one of the more cumbersome shines. And by cumbersome, I mean one that, you know, if it's not done perfectly right, it can be a little bit tedious. So a bunch of the cataquacks have gotten up here, or sorry, not cataquacks, relatives of the cataquacks have gotten up on these mirrors, which are, um, so it says top of the tower, no, 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 this thing is threatening the sandbird, sandbird egg. And we need to get it down by pointing all of the mirrors at it. But unfortunately, these guys are throwing off the mirror's trajectory. So we got to get rid of them. And there is, well, progressively more in each mirror. But also each mirror is uh, correspondingly bigger in size. So it actually doesn't really make it all that much more difficult. You just got to learn how to manage uh, 
manage the things around you. So we're going to head on up here and we're going to get onto the first mirror first thing if I can help it. So, hi there, sir. Let's take care of this guy. Let me show you how this is done. So what you want to do is just spray him to the edge and all you need to do is ground pound. There he goes. So the thing about this though is you have to, you do want to be a little bit far away from the center because that, otherwise the slam won't be enough and they're going to still stick to the platform. So you do have to give yourself a little bit of leeway or a little bit of room before you actually use the ground pound. So for the next part, let's get to this one. And you're going to want to make sure that it's tilted in the right direction too before you do it. And that was not enough as I feared. Hold on, get back, you two. You know, maybe I can get two with one stone here. Hold on. Nope, that wasn't enough. Yep, see, I'm not far enough back. That's my issue. Hold on, I got this. I got this. I got this. Come on. Actually, annoying me. See, this is what this is why I said it can get a little bit tedious. Is if you're not far away enough, and the oh my gosh, oh, oh no, that's right. The mirror has to be tilted enough too. Hold on. Really? Oh wait, I- Oh, no wonder I keep sliding towards the center. Oh, I'm so dumb. I wasn't paying attention to that. I was like, what is happening? So luckily you're actually able to stun it. I'm gonna need to go get some water after this. Are you serious? Man, this was uh, pathetic. Okay, try this again. Really? Do I also- Do I need to actually be like a perfect opposite of them too? That might be what it is. Hold on. There goes one. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's what you need to do. You need to be perfectly opposite them. That's the real thing. And, oh my gosh, I am my depth perception is so bad. I can't tell if I'm uh, on the edge of the mirror or not. Get out of here. Jeez. All right, so I'm going to actually have to probably go get some water for this. Um, well, I don't know. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to give it a shot with what I have left. So, let's do that. Let's see if I can get my way over here without having to use too much water. Hold on. Let's see. Perfect. What's up, guys? Sir, you can stay back for a second. Did I get him yet? Not yet. Stay back. There goes one. Alright, we got rid of one, and I just got hit like a genius. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. I want to I wanna see if I can do this with the amount of water I have left. Get away from me. Uh, sir, you can stay back. There goes another one, and then you, I'm going to guide to that side and spray that away. Almost got it. There we go. Get out of here. Perfect. We did it. Yeah, it was a little bit of a little bit of a trial for a minute there. I did kind of jinx myself a little bit because I'm like, it's not too difficult, and then I kind of forgot the rules of the way it works. So yeah, you have to stand on the... It doesn't really matter what the mirror is angled at. It more so matters that you're on the opposite, exact opposite end of them. Otherwise, it's not going to cause enough um, tilt to slam them and bam them. Ha ha ha. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. I hope you all enjoyed this episode very, very much, and I will see you all in the next one.